twin prime numbers are prime numbers with only one composite number in between them. So for instance, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, all the numbers in green are prime numbers. But 2 and 3 are not said to be twin prime numbers. But 3 and 5 are twin prime numbers because we only have a 4 in between them. So 3 and 5 can be said to be twin prime numbers because 3 and 5 both are prime numbers and there is only a 4 in between them, only one number in between them. In other words, if I subtract 5 and 3, I'm going to get exactly 2. So 3 and 5 are said to be twin prime numbers. Similarly, 5 and 7 only has a 6 in between them. So 5 and 7 are also twin prime numbers. So you can just see that 11 and 13, 17 and 19 are also twin prime numbers. So we can write 11 and 13 then 17 and 19 are twin prime numbers uh, but 19 and 23 of course are not twin prime and 23 and of course 25 is not a prime only so 23 and 25 are not twin primes what about 29 and 31 yeah 29 and 31 are twin prime numbers that's excellent and then all the numbers like 41 and 43 are twin prime again if you see 43 minus 41 you'll get an answer of 2 so 43 and 41 are twin prime numbers and then uh, what about 53 and 55 no they are not 59 and 61 yeah 59 and 61 are also twin prime and then 71 73 are twin prime then um, we have 83 no we have 89 and 91 no so these many are the twin prime numbers between 1 and 100. And then we have the co-prime numbers. Yeah, very similar to twin prime, but co-prime numbers are different. Co-prime numbers do not have any common factors other than 1. Remember, it's not necessary that co-prime numbers are prime numbers also. For instance, let's take 15 and 20. So the factors of 15 are 1 and 15 itself. Then 3, 5 za is also 15. So the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. While the factors of 20 are 1 and 20. And then it also goes in the table of 2, 2 tens are 20. And then 4, 5 are 20. So the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So if you analyze them, if you look properly, they have common factors like 1 and they also have common factors like 5. But over here we say other than 1, except 1. So we are not going to consider 1 because 1 will be there in all the numbers. But other than 1, if they have something common, some factors common, yeah, they have a factor common, like 5 is a common factor over here. Then these numbers are not co-prime numbers. They are not co-prime numbers. Okay. But if I say 9 and if I say 16, 9 has the factors like 1 and 9, then 3, 3 is a 9. And 16 has factors like 1 and 16, and 2, 8s are 16, and then 3, no, it does not go in the table of 3, 4, 4s are 16. So it has factors like 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Now, of course, we are going to ignore the 1, and we are going to see if 3 or 9 also comes in this list. No, it does not come. So we will say that 9 and 16, they do not share any factor, means they do not have any common factor. So 9 and 16 are co-prime numbers. It simply means that though 9 is a composite number, 16 is a composite number, but 9 and 16 are co-prime numbers. And if you take any other any, any prime number, let's say if you take 11 and 13, both 11 and 13 are prime. 
therefore they are definitely O prime numbers. Why? Because the factors of 11 are only 1 and 11 and the factors of 13 are 1 and 13 and of course we are not going to consider 1 so they won't be sharing any other factor. So any two prime numbers are definitely co prime but not necessarily with prime and composite let's take a prime 11 and let's take a composite 15 a prime and a composite will also do not have the same uh, factors you know they will not share any factors so they are co prime numbers so if one of the numbers is prime it becomes co prime numbers but if both are composite then we need to look into it whether they are prime or composite now many of you may be wondering why are we learning all these things and uh, where is this going to be useful so stay cool in this course we are also going to understand where is this useful and at that time i shall be recalling recall the co prime numbers and at that time you'll be understanding yeah this was a really useful thing so it is good that we have studied this thanks for watching and